just as our investigation in Chillicothe is gaining traction, we receive a call for help from Zenobi, a transgender heroin addict we met previously. She has been supporting her $400 a day habit by turning tricks in Portsmouth, Ohio. But now she's ready to get clean and turn her life around. She wants us to take her to a detox facility. Love you, Mom. You got a good relationship with your mom. Yes, I love my mom. Yeah. My mom loves my world. That's great. What made you decide to do it now? I want worse heroin on my worst enemy. Because it kills you. It takes your life away. It destroys your life. It destroys your family's life. Like, it's really the devil. The victims that we've been following, I mean, you lived that the same life. Have you had a lot of close calls? I've been um, held hostage before in the basement, tied up for a couple weeks. There's, cra there's some crazy people out here. And you know, like, doing the things that we do to get our fix, thing that we turn to as prostitution, you know? And being out there on the streets, walking the streets, trying to catch a trick, trying to catch a play, like, those men out there are dangerous and they're crazy. Bodies coming and missing, nobody knows what happened. Um, murders aren't being investigated. Like, you know? Why does it? Because this is not normal. So why haven't people just stood up? Everybody's scared. Scared of what? They're scared to talk about it. Because they know how it is. You're going to come up missing. Nobody's going to know what happened. They're not going to find your body. None of that. You're just going to be another person that just came up missing. 